me, Emery M. Jacobson, um, aka Badger. I don't know why I did that. I think I was trying to do like a claw, like Badger. Okay. Um, so I, I didn't want to do this video. I'm going to be honest. Sorry, it's shaky. I don't have something to prop this against, but yeah. I didn't want to do this video. I did not. But then <laughs> I was rewatching uh, the video I posted last, and uh, I came across me saying that I would get a video of the costume that I made for this year. And I don't want to break my promises, so I'm, I'm making this video. Also partially because I wanted to film this intro today because... So today is filming the, the intro, it's Christmas. It's Christmas Day, Christmas Sunday. And so I got all pretty for church and stuff. And I, I just... I was really happy with my hair and my makeup and I just kind of wanted to document that. <laughs> um, but... Uh, yeah, so I didn't want... To make this video and that's because i am not that happy with how this costume turned out i mean it's a it's a, it's, a, it's a right but um <sighs> there was a lot of issues with with this particular this costume it was my most ten sorry if there's background noise again it's christmas my siblings got a lot of new toys and stuff so but not a lot of new toys but noisy new toys um but yeah ignoring them uh i found out there was a lot of technical difficulties with this costume because it's so it's a very complicated costume because it's a freaking velociraptor and i'm not simple i'm not going to make those little tails that you can just get for two dollars that kind of hang off and you're like I'm, I'm i'm not doing that i'm not doing that so <laughs> i was like nah i'm gonna make this realistic i'm gonna make it give him like a little body thing keep this in mind i moved there in the summer summertime is when i start working on my costumes because I need to start then to be able to actually make them good, to be able to give them the quality they need and the time they need. I did not think this one through. And <laughs> I didn't have the time I needed. I didn't have the materials I needed either, not really much. And when I finally got them, it, it took a while to get. So my stash of things I had to throw away when I moved across the country uh, with my family of my dad's job and so my craft foam supply was gone because you know that's 99 cents why am i moving that i i couldn't move that so with my other some of my other things that i've collected that would have been otherwise thrown away eventually i did throw it away so i <laughs> moved in the summer it's my senior year of high school this new school has a different schedule than I'm used to. It goes from 8.30 until 4.15. 4.15! That is a freaking long day. And I have like an early morning church class at 5... 5.30 in the morning. So, yeah. And also during the time, I was also part of um, my school... I decided to do my school's play, Alice, um, and I was the Cheshire Cat. Editor me, put in pictures here. I had really a lot of fun in that, but so add all that bit together, I didn't have material, I didn't have time, and yeah, so, <laughs> so like I said, there were some, some issues, it was all right. So I'm gonna post it here because I promised I'd make this video, so I am. And if you guys can figure out how to fix the problems, which I'll mention more in the video, uh, please tag team me if you make another video and show me like how you fix those problems because I was trying very, very hard. <laughs> okay. Um, also, I don't know when I can make another costume again because like I said, this is my senior year of high school. I have colleges like for christmas my things were very practical 
um, I got a new laptop, which was nice, but I got it because I needed for for school. I got bed sheets, I got socks, I got <laughs> I got a freaking toolbox, which would be nice for making costumes. I wish I had that earlier, but yeah, I got I got a toolbox, so all practical things. So if that doesn't tell you how quickly I'm going into the adult world, it's I found that turning 18, <laughs> I'm not ready to be an adult, and yet I am. Yeah, okay, anyways, um, I don't know what day I'm going to uh, post this video, editor me, say whether or not it was, is it on Christmas, editor me, clarify. No, you're behind. Okay, thank you, editor me, um, and enjoy the video. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is, well, working on the tail. And I got this really thick foam material. Um, if you can't find anything this thick, you can get the thickest craft foam you can find um, and uh, stack it up. It is roughly, I should have measured this before filming, but oh well. Roughly, ooh, no. it is. <laughs> Not even. Well, I'll just hold it up so you can kind of see. It's pretty thick, like a finger width thick. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, this stuff is a bit harder to mold just by your hand. So I'm gonna get out the heat gun. Um, if you don't have a heat gun, you do what I used to do and uh, pull out your hair dryer. Um, <coughs> yeah. So. First of all, you need to have everything in the different lengths. I'm gonna lay it all out and I'm gonna see how long they all are, which will determine how much I'll use for the first part and which ones I'll use for like um, the smaller end of the tail which ends I'll need to have in the front, how long I'm going to do it based on how tall the person I'm making the, uh, the costume for. You also, while making the tail, you need to measure the length of the, well, the shoulder width of the person. And starting from the blade of your shoulders all the way down to like here on your back or on their back, whoever this is being made for, you need to measure those, uh, that length and width, uh, so you know how big the thing is because you're going to wear the tail kind of like a backpack. And first you're going to make the tail and then you're going to attach it to a little the, a bit of foam that you're going to use to wear on your back. So you wear like a backpack, one will take away from the, some of the weight and it'll just give you a bit more movement, some more freedom. Yeah, so now I'm just going to measure these bad boys. Hell, because remember the tail, saw's wire gets smaller and yeah, it comes like the body. So the entire body is basically made up from like going into the tail. So you want to start it from at the bottom of the neck basically and then go from there. But right now I'm just going to work on the tail bit and work the opposite way. So that's what I'm going to do. You want the body slash tail to go to about roughly the same height the same length as the person is tall. So with a marker, I know it's a bit hard to see, but I've drawn on a bit of how the tail I would like to have. I realized you didn't need to go as far as I thought you did with the um, tail. So this is what I have gotten so far. Um, yes, yeah, so now I just have to do it again. So you can
can actually keep with just this cutout, it might be a good idea to get some of the thinner foam and kind of use it as like the bottom. Um, make sure before you put on that foam though to get a like score on the whatever is going to be the inside of it that that won't be seen and to um, like heat form it into the correct shape. Obviously hot glue that all together that might actually help us get rid of some of the problems that I had later on. So this is the tail so far. Sorry I didn't video me getting to this point. Um, but what I did was I stuffed all of it with plastic bags, you know, like grocery bags, um, Walmart bags, whatever you like to call them, plastic bags. Um, and it's whenever, you know, I accumulated after going shopping to the store. Um, and then I got a pair of tights. I think these are medium. They're very stretchy tights. Um, and using one leg of the tights, like yes, yeah, this entire thing is covered by one leg. Here's the other one. And so you wanna leave this one out and I'll explain why later. But what I'm gonna do is, so like, 
Yeah, see, that's a little bit bumpy, but that's, that's okay. It's okay. If I had more time to work on this, I would um, make it a bit more smooth. But I don't have more time to work with this. And this bit right here will be covered up when I do some painting. So you won't see that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin this up together. And once it's all pinned up, I'm going to move it down to like the center here, making sure like this, this little bit kind of lines up right here. A bit more neater than that, but yeah. And then I'll, this bit, and then I'll sew it to this. Or if I don't have time to sew, I'll just hot glue. You'll see what I do eventually. <laughs> I did decide to sew some of it on and I'm just gonna hot glue just to keep it stronger. I figured sewing it will make it give them a better chance of it actually staying. So yeah, that's what I've done. metal holes notice that I kind of put it in here I have to fix that patch that up a bit because this one is just super duper wobbly compared to this one which is what I need it to be but yeah I got these stuck in here I'm gonna do some hot gluing um, make sure they stay Ugh, it's wobbling um, and yeah so that's gonna make it because the goal is for it to kind of move with its leg so that's what we're working with here.
Right, so I was unable to really show, well, video this bit because I had to literally finish the costume the day we had to go and put it on him. But instead of paint, I used some blue duct tape and I cut like little triangles on it and lined it up on the side of the tail. I also had this shirt, which I um, cut more evenly later, like, well, yeah. Anyways, I cut it down the middle and I had it get Velcro to the back of the tail and that um, I also added on. So takeaways from this costume, um, it might just be easier instead of putting that um, one, having just the one side, like instead of having six pieces to form the top, have only three pieces. And then if you do want to do the six pieces instead of having um, the, because you have enough of the dome shape, if, instead of having the thinner craft bomb, instead do some, just pull the tights over it and stuff it with some stuffing to get you that bit of a shape. Um, but yeah, after that, that's, yeah, that's kind of all that did. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and I'll see you guys next time.